Welcome back everybody to another market update. Today I'm talking about August 2024. What's going on in the real estate market? And before I get into the meat and potatoes of this video, I just wanna remind you that if you're thinking about buying or selling, make sure you reach out to me because the information I'm giving you is very generic. It's an overview of what's going on in Orange County, but real estate is a very unique situation and it's a case by case for everybody. So if you want more specific information for you, send me a message, I'd be happy to help. So today we're talking about supply and demand. Most people know the basics here. If there's a lot of something, it's not as valuable compared to if there is a limited supply. And for the last four years, we've been dealing with very limited supply when it comes to home inventory. And that's the primary reason why prices have continued to appreciate in Orange County. In fact, we're on an 11 year run and buyers are desperate for some relief, especially with where interest rates are today. So if you're a buyer, I have some good news for you. That time has come. Have you ever heard of buyer fatigue? It's what most buyers who have been trying to navigate this market are actually going through. Limited inventory, rising prices, bidding wars, high interest rates, and low affordability. I mean, geez, how motivated do you have to be to actually successfully win in today's market? So today, I wanna to talk to you about a quick story. One of my clients reached out to me on Saturday. He sent me a picture of a $2 million property and said, hey Rob, can we get this for 1.8 million? And I said, well, let me look into it and get back to you. And he said, to be honest with you, I'm not necessarily interested in this specific property. I just want to know if I see a property out there, can I get a deal? The reason why I'm asking is because I'm noticing more homes on the market and I'm noticing homes are taking longer to sell and I'm seeing a lot of price reductions. So that's what I want to talk to you guys about today. Things are changing. So I want to talk about four different areas that we've been tracking. Number one, active inventory. So to give you perspective, in January of this year, we had 1,800 homes available for sale in the entire county. Today, we have 3,600 homes available for sale. That's a 100% increase. Inventory has doubled, and buyers now have twice as many opportunities than they had earlier this year. Let's talk about demand. How many homes are selling each month? In May, we hit a peak of 1,800 homes selling per month. At that time, inventory levels were 2,800 homes available for sale, which means the absorption rate was 1.5 months. Now, if you don't know what the absorption rate means, let me give you a quick 101. When we talk about absorption rate, we talk about how many months it would take to wipe out the inventory. So when I said 1.5 months in the earlier example, what that means is, is if no new homes were listed for sale, based on how many homes were available for sale and how fast homes were selling, if no new homes were listed for sale in one and a half months, there'd be absolutely no inventory left, which is a really, really low number. Today, we have 3,600 homes available for sale in the entire county and 1,500 homes are selling per month currently, which means we have an absorption rate of 2.4 months. We have an extra full month of inventory, which means things are slowing. So let's discuss days on market. How long is it actually taking for homes to sell? Now we're gonna put up a slide here for you to see all the different price range. But the bottom line is, is across the board, homes are taking longer to sell. Check out this graph. Homes under a million were taking 27 days to sell, now 46 days, almost twice as long. Homes between two million and four million were selling in 83 days, now it's 116 days. More homes for sale, less homes are selling, homes are taking longer to sell. I don't know, but maybe we are shifting towards more of a buyer's market as we go into the holidays. The last area I wanna talk about is interest rates. Currently, we're sitting at around 6.8%, which to be honest with you, thinking back at the last several months is not a bad number. There is news that these rates may even drop this year. So what does that really mean? Well, look, if the rates drop, it's going to increase demand because buyers are sitting on the fence waiting for prices to become more, homes to become more affordable in general. So when the rates fall 1%, affordability grows by 
But what do you think is going to happen if you wait for rates to fall? Well, you're going to have a lot of competition versus possibly buying now and then refinancing when the rates do fall. So what do you do if you're a seller or if you're a buyer? I'm talking to the sellers right now. You may be watching this going, oh my gosh, I've missed the mark. It's a buyer's market. I can't get the best price for my home. And that's not what I'm saying. We're definitely seeing a shift towards more of a buyer's market, but we are still in a slight seller's market. So if you're thinking about selling, there's two things I want you to focus on above and beyond hiring a great agent. Number one, you have to make sure that the property is compelling. Buyers love turnkey. Buyers love moving ready. Buyers love having a high emotional connection when they walk into a property. So you have to make sure that if you're gonna list your home on the open market, that you do some work in terms of home preparation, unless you're one of the very few people that have a home that is already looking like a model home. Also, you wanna make sure that the price is compelling. I made a video last month about price reductions, and honestly, the worst thing you can do as a seller is overprice or optimistically price your property to sell. You really have to dial in that number to make sure that you reach the highest number of potential buyers so you can sell for the absolute best price. How about a buyer? What do you do if you're a buyer? Well, honestly, if you're a buyer right now and you've been sitting on the fence, I would seriously consider jumping off that fence. Now, I'm not saying it's the right time to buy for you, but what I'm saying is, is if you haven't seriously explored your financial options and seriously understand what you can buy, it's time to do it. It's time to get serious because now presents a window of opportunity where you can buy a property at a great deal. And if you buy now, even though the rates are a little bit higher, if the rates do fall later this year, rather than becoming a buyer then and having to go against all these other buyers that are trying to compete against you, all you have to do is refinance. And look, if the rates don't fall, then you know, as long as you can afford your monthly payment, you're, you'd be waiting for something that was never gonna come anyway. So the bottom line here, guys, is, is good news for buyers and still great market for sellers with the right strategy. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below or send me a message. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel. It's a free, easy way to support me to show YouTube that what I'm putting out is actually information that you guys like. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time.